Hello everybody, this is David Smith. I am the PDI supervisor here today and I would like to show you some things how we take care of your Corvette and show you some things how you can take care of your Corvette. I'm going to actually go through the whole process of washing the car, cleaning the wheels, doing the windows and things of that nature. As you can see we have uh, different products here. We have a, the detail spray which is like a quick detail. You can use it after you've driven your car and just dust it off real quick. This would be good, fine for that. And we also have a wheel cleaner that we'll use. And we got some brushes that we get actually inside the rim and everything with it. Now, what I'm gonna do here is use the Foam King here. And we actually use the Adams soap here. And I'm gonna, you got the line here where you put your soap to, and the rest of it is just water. And here I'm gonna, add a little water and we'll get started here. And as you can see, we're soaping it up real good and I'll get the wheels, prep them for cleaning with my wheel cleaner. And the thing is, we saturate this whole car down and I'll show you another little trick we use with a clay mitt. This, this is a clay mitt, which takes the place of a clay bar. Um, this, we use it, it takes all the oxidation off the car from sitting outside and it'll give you a real smooth finish. And as you can see, I'm gonna use it on the glass, the mirrors, the body, uh, any painted surface. And then once, once I rinse it off, I'll come back with my quick detail spray. And it's really an easy process. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on it. A little bit goes a long way. And me, myself, I like to work from the top of the car, bottom down, from the top down. That way you don't grab any contaminants from the bottom and bring them up on your car while you're washing it. In order to use this mitt, it has to be wet. Have to have, you have to have some kind of lubricant on it. That way that keeps it from actually scratching the car and the paint. And if your car has really got a lot of oxidation on it, when you rinse it off, you'll actually see like little gray particles of dirt come off in the water. And I'll start with the wheel cleaner now while that sits. And I'm just gonna spray all four wheels let them sit. Normally a, a good minute and a half. And then I also use it on tailpipes as well. Now that that's sat there for a little bit, I'll get my wheel brush. And this gets behind the calipers and it's very soft. Doesn't hurt anything at all. And what you want to do, you want to get it wet. And you want to, when you use this, you want to go back and forth. You really don't want to go like this because this will come back all over your clothes if you do it this way. So you want to, instead of pulling it back towards you, this is how you want to do it. Then I will come back to my exhaust tips, do a little scrubbing up in there like so. And you can actually get all the way around it. And as you can see, this thing really works because you see all the dirt that's come off of the wheel so far. Here I got another mitt. This mitt is just for the rims itself. As you can see how nasty this one is versus a clean mitt right there. And they're all microfibers so we won't scratch anything. And once again, I'm gonna soak this in water and then just go around wipe the wheels and we'll be ready to rinse the car off. It'll, all the stuff is still wet so it'll come right off of it. And once again, even with rinsing the car, I start from the top down once again and rinse the dirt down instead of spraying it up on the car. So we start on the top. A lot of people are a lot of diff are different, but I wash my car at least once a week. If it's garage kept, maybe every two weeks and waxing it, I would say at least once a month. Some people are a little bit more in depth, but I, I'm okay with once a month for mine. Then I'm gonna come back and do my detail spray, but what I'm gonna do, always wet your chamois first, and I'll just throw my chamois up here, get it good and wet. So I'll take my detail spray, and then I'm gonna mist the entire car. Then I'm gonna come back, smear it, then I'll dry it, and we'll blow it off and then dry it again and put some tire shine on this baby, and you'll have a clean Corvette. If there's any spot that you actually miss washing the car, when you come back with the chamois and smear it, you're actually cleaning it again. It smears better with a wet chamois. I just like to make sure I got it all over the car and that's why I smear it. And this way, when you smear it, you know you got it all over the car because you actually not only sprayed it, but you actually rubbed it in too. Actually, this works on all your Corvettes. 
actually rather not only Corvettes but other cars as well. So this product can be used on any car, not just a Corvette. It's just what we use here. Even though some paints are different, this is actually formulated to meet all the specifications. And we start at the top, but once again, I work from the top down. And once we actually get it dry, then I actually blow it off again and come back and wipe off the excess water from the blower. Because it's got an opening and vented back here by the motor, one way to do it is take your chamois. Of course, you're gonna have to open it and get up under it, but that takes the first layer off until we get up under there and wipe it down in there. Because once again, you see it's vented, so water spots will go down in there. And I'll show you when I open it up, how we just wipe those down as well. Before you open the trunk, you already got it cracked. Take your chamois and run around the edges. That way when you open it, all the water won't run right in the middle of it. Through here, water goes down to here. So we just actually wipe the water spots out. That way we don't have to worry about when you open your hood and you're displaying your engine, people see water spots all over it. So we'll, blow all of, we'll blow the wheels, get the water out the crevices there, mirrors, and around the emblems especially because emblems actually hold water in the crevices there, so you actually have to blow those out too. When I blow the car off, I'm gonna blow the wipers off as well, so the water won't just sit there. You'll, you'll wash your car if you don't get them out the emblems, then you'll see a streak of water just running down. I'm actually blowing all the water out of the crevices, out of the mirrors, the cracks and things like that, but then I'll come back with my chamois once again, dry it all up, then I'll get my door jams and wipe those down, a lot of people use a leaf blower. So if you don't have a blower, you can use a leaf blower. And that'll blow out all the water out the cracks and crevices and things of that nature. So yes, you can use a leaf blower. And then one other thing for sure with the C8, you always wanna, once you wash your car, you always wanna come back and wipe that window off in the back back here, cause it'll dry up and have water spots all over it. So you just wanna reach in here while you got it up from that window where I was showing you before. If you stick this up in here like so, and you can actually see it on the other side here where I'm getting it from behind there, coming this way. And while I'm there, I still got some detail wax residue on my rag, so I'm gonna wipe my window down while I'm there too. And we're getting our door jams. And if you have time while you're washing your car, just leave your door open and let it drain. They have little drain ports at the bottom of the door panel, so if there's water gets in there, it'll seep out. And that's why you want to wipe inside your door jams. Then we want to come back to the front and open that up and get up in there. I always take my chamois so I won't run anything down in the trunk. And we want to wipe down in here. Water builds up here when you wash it. That way we get it out before you put anything in there. You don't have to worry about water spots when you open it. While I do this, I'm gonna put some tire shine on my, on my vehicle and that way while I'm doing the finishing touches, the tire shine actually has time to actually dry on the car because you, you actually want it to dry before you drive off. If you drive off while it's wet, it's gonna spin up on your car. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that about concludes this short video. Uh, here we have the finished product. I hope that you learned some things of how we do things here, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it today and. Once again, my name is David Smith, and on behalf of the Corvette Museum and the PDI staff, we'd like to thank you.